Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to talk about asymmetrical grids within uh, SAS and Singularity. So, in the last video, we created this symmetrical grid. It was a 12 column grid, and then we assigned this uh, paragraph to be uh, three columns of the 12, and then this paragraph to be nine columns of the 12. So, that's really great, right? I mean, that, that's how you're used to using grids. That's, that's how we've been doing it for a long time. But if we're only using, for this example, if we're only using content in this grid, or this column, and this column, then why are we defining 12 columns and then saying three and then eight, or three and then nine, right? So that's where asymmetrical grids come in. Basically, you're building a grid uh, using only the things that you need and you do it proportionally. So you would say that this grid column takes up, you know, 30%, well, not 30%, it takes up uh, uh, three of the 12 total and this takes up nine of the 12 total, similar to how we're doing it right now, but just a little bit different. So let's go back to our, our code here and we're going to go into our grid. So when we defined our grid originally, we said it was going to be 12 columns. Now we want to have two columns, but we want them we want them to be a certain proportionally sized. So we want to say we want one that's three and one that's sorry, not eight, one that's nine. And this is because if you remember, we already know that proportion that we like where there was three and then nine. Of course, you can play around with these numbers. Um, so this is going back to the whole 12 thing. It doesn't have to equal 12. It can equal whatever you'd like. It's still just going to do the math to figure out, you know, what it needs to be. Now, if we save this, let's come into our styles. And then if we come down here, we have a left bar that we said was going to be three and start at the first position. We're now going to say it's going to be one column starting at the first position. And our content area is also going to be one column, but starting at the second position. Now, if we come back to our page and refresh, not much has changed, right? We still have this equal division. Well, we have this same division here that we liked, uh, the three and eight col or three and nine column. I don't know why I keep saying eight, uh, three and nine columns. Uh, that we had here, but now we only have to define two columns and we're either throwing everything in the first column or everything in the second column. Now, what's a little bit crazier of an example that we could show you to just show you exactly how insanely flexible these asymmetrical grids are? Well, I, I noticed a really interesting example on uh, the, the uh, Singularity documentation, so I figure I'll show you that one. And uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to increase this main width to four, uh, 1440 just to make this a bit wider so we have some more room to work with because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw in a lot of grids here or a lot of columns in our grid. So here, when we define our grid, I'm going to say we have one column that's one, one that's two, one that's three, one that's four, and one that's five. These are all going to be, uh, you know, this is going to be double the size of this one. This is going to be four times the size of this one, and they're going to fill up the entire container. Okay, now I just need to, uh, let's copy this paragraph here and paste it a couple times. Uh, and I'm going to give these some classes and left bar will now be uh, no longer left bar, but uh, one. This is going to be two. This is going to be three and uh, so on. So that this is four and the other one's five. And we'll have five columns here. Okay, five, there we go. Now, I already wrote some of the CSS uh, just because I didn't wanna have to have you watch me type it all. But what I've done here is I have our, our five classes, one, two, three, four, and five. And I said one starts in the first position, well, starts in the first position and spans one column. Two spans one column, starts in the second position. Three is one and three, one, okay, and so on and so forth. You get it, right? So if we save this now, come back to our page and we refresh, 
you'll now see we have this really interesting grid, right? Like how cool is this that it took us no time to set this grid up, right? For one, it's like a completely sort of different grid than you've ever ever probably worked with before, but it allows for some really interesting patterns and you can do some really great stuff. Now, it's not like we couldn't replicate this grid with, uh, you know, a grid with as many columns. Uh, I, I think, I don't even know what the total amount of columns there would be in this one. But it's not like we couldn't really make this grid. But the point is, is that with the asymmetrical grids, you're using, uh, you're only making the columns that you need and nothing else. Because why else would you need them? So this is how you build an asymmetrical grid using singularity. Uh, so go nuts. Uh, or don't go nuts and just build whatever design you had specced out or just experiment with it, right? Try some cool stuff and make some interesting grids. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video. Hit us up at Twitter or Facebook. Post on the Level Up forum. There's lots of ways you can reach out to us uh, and be involved in the Level Up community. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.